Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today I'm back with an update on my ecosphere. So the standard norm is to basically keep an ecosphere on a windowsill and I thought about potentially putting it outside to see if it would make any difference to the growth. And one growth it definitely made a difference to was the algae. So obviously being out on a table it was getting a lot more light than it would usually do on a windowsill. But to be honest, I would actually have expected a lot more algae than this and I don't know if it's something to do with how well the plants are actually growing. As you can see here, they're just growing all over the place, there's new heads and yeah, green as anything. I also would have expected the water to have a little bit of a green tinge to it, but as you can see, it's pretty much crystal clear. In terms of the occupants, the snails seem to still be doing really well, as you can see a giant tadpole snail just at the bottom there. There also seems to be quite a solid population of copepods in there, I tried to get good footage of them but they're pretty small. As I stated before, the plants seem to be excelling in this ecosphere. There are one or two dead stems, but this will just be a good food source for the snails. So basically what I've learned from keeping the ecosphere outside is that it will grow just as well as it would indoors and it won't be engulfed by algae. I also feel like compared to indoors it'll be getting more of a natural temperature change and a natural lighting change. But whether any of this actually makes a difference I don't know. I also wouldn't recommend keeping it outside over winter as it'll probably just freeze and everyone will die inside. But in general, this probably just means I can collect a few more ecospheres in the summer as I can probably keep them in the garden rather than on a windowsill. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.